What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon and today we're going to be showing you a really cool blackout loadout and I'm getting a brand new lens for the setup. I'm heading over downtown right now to pick up that new vlog lens. Hopefully it's going to look really cool on camera. You guys will be able to see it. But for now, sit back, relax, and let's get it. Remember to stay hydrated guys, get that water in. And we are back in the studio with the brand new lens and a new filter. So if you guys are enjoying this, please let me know in the comment section below. This lens is probably the grail lens that I've been trying to get for the past two years and we finally have it. But today I'm gonna be showing you guys a really clean, a minimalistic blackout EDC loadout. There are five different blackout EDC items in front of me and I thought it would be super fitting just because this is episode one of Five Minute Friday. I'll do my very best to make this as fast as possible. So let's just jump right into it and show you the first blackout EDC item and that's going to be my pry bar. This is the Big Idea Designs tie pry bar with this black DLC finish. I wanted to include this pry bar specifically because it's pretty much the only blackout pry bar I have in the collection, but I use these things all the time to mount tripod plates to my camera. This one also has a secondary function, so if you are a fidgeter, it has some built-in magnets, which is really cool. I personally have severe ADD, if you guys didn't know that, so when I'm trying to kind of cultivate some new ideas and thoughts. I like to fidget with things. So having this on the side of my desk really helps out. Next up to the pry bar is going to be my pen. And this is another product from Big Idea Designs. This is their mini bolt action in black. Now they're not paying me anything to say anything about their products, but if you guys want a discount code, just use Everyday Minimalist on checkout and that will get you 10% off. Doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll leave a link in the description below. But in terms of this pen, I absolutely love it just because of its overall size and form factor. You can slide this right into your pockets and it will absolutely disappear. On top of that, it has a really nice clip built into it. The bolt action functionality is really good as well. I've passed this pen over to a bunch of my friends and they all love this thing, so I can definitely recommend it. Really cool for a blackout EDC loadout. Now the next item is gonna be, of course, the Streamlight MicroStream USB. This is a really nifty, small, tiny flashlight that is rechargeable. So if you hate buying AAA or AA batteries, this might be your best solution. I've covered it in a bunch of different videos. They go for like 30 bucks on Amazon and I find myself using this all the time just because I'm in a basement studio with very limited lights. This thing is tried and true and I absolutely love it. Now the next thing is gonna be my wallet. Guys, if you know me, I am very accustomed to designer wallets, whether it be from Gucci or Louis Vuitton. The cool thing is that this wallet right here fell into my laps about a week ago. It's called the Model 2 from Reform. I originally wasn't gonna make a video on this wallet because when they originally reached out, they were just like, hey, we wanna send you out a wallet, no strings attached. And when I went to their website, it just looked like any other ordinary wallet. You guys haven't seen all the wallets in my collection. I probably have 50 over there sitting in the cart and the designer wallets are the ones that usually stick in the pocket because of how thin and minimalistic they are. Now, when I first got the Model 2, I was immediately impressed with the material. Imagine like an Oakley or Arcteryx, like really high-end $500 jacket, but put into a wallet. On top of that, there's virtually no branding on the exterior of the wallet, which I really dig because it keeps things very minimalistic. And this wallet has a built-in magnetic clasp mechanism, so it kind of keeps all of your stuff safe and not flying all over the place. Like I said, I've been carrying this thing for about a week now, and I'm just absolutely loving it. This thing gets a seal of approval, and I'll probably make a full review video on it. Sweet, so this video is going pretty long. I'm sure we're over five minutes, but next up is gonna be my knife of choice, and this is none other than the Protec Malibu Operator Edition. I don't really flash around this knife a lot on the channel just because it's a shelf queen and one of my overall grail knives, but I thought it would be super cool to feature this specific knife in the Blackout EDC loadout video. What sets this one apart from any other Malibu out there is it's completely blacked out with no branding. 
So if I were to pass this over to someone and they were trying to look for a logo, good luck with that. They have zero branding, literally even inside the skills, there is nothing that's saying it's a ProTech. It has a blackout blade, a blackout hardware, blackout deep carry pocket clip, and then the push button has this tritium inlay. I believe this is as minimalistic as it possibly gets when it comes to a blacked out knife and I absolutely adore it. But there you guys go, my very first all black EDC loadout. If you enjoyed it, throw me a thumbs up. And then if you guys have any suggestions on different themed loadouts, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for dropping by and I guess we'll have to catch you on the next one. Peace out.